All right, guys, some of the best movies ever made are actually Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. Now, this was science fiction. This was back in 1984 and 1991. However, a little over 30 years later, I guess this is going to be a real thing. So that brings us to San Francisco in the People's Republic of California. Guys, they have just voted on something and they have approved this. You're pretty much going to have real life Terminators out there on the street. Now, San Francisco, remember, they defunded their police in the name of wokeness, in the name of George Floyd. They hated the police and crime has run amok over there. San Francisco is a complete dumpster fire. It's a dangerous city. If you can get out of San Francisco, folks, they have taken law enforcement off the streets and now they're going to replace them with robots in extreme situations. Now, to me, crime is so bad over there. What actually is a an extreme situation now? But anyway, here we go. Over here on Fox News, San Francisco approves plan to allow police robots to use deadly force in emergency situations. The 8-3 vote by the San Francisco Board of Supervisors came after intense debate on the proper use of deadly force in policing. Now, guys, this is going to backfire because the votes over there in San Francisco, they don't like police actually having guns. Now, these robots, they're not actually going to have guns, but they're going to be able to blow things up. I wonder how the Wolts would actually feel about that. This could go very, very bad, guys. So let's read this. San Francisco leaders voted to allow the city's police department to use potentially lethal robots in emergency situations. Quote, under this policy, SFPD is authorized to use these robots to carry out deadly force in extremely limited situations when risk to loss of life to members of the public or officers is imminent and outweighs any other force option available. City Supervisor Raphael Mandelman wrote on Twitter, San Francisco leaders voted 8-3 on Tuesday in support of the new policy. Yeah, because they hate the police, but I guess, you know, they love robots. Maybe they actually love Terminator Genesis, which is terrible, and uh, the last Terminator movie, which is awful also, but I digress. The San Francisco Police Department has 17 robots, but none are armed with guns, and the department has no plans to do so. The department could deploy robots equipped with explosive charges to contact, incapacitate, or disorient violent, arm or dangerous suspect during emergency situations when lives are at risk, according to a police department spokesperson. Now, here's the thing. Are they talking about like in a hostage situation? Now, because if the police can actually go in there and get the hostage and they send in a robot, how is the robot actually going to minimize damage and only actually get the bad guys and not the good guys? And if they're going to be armed and equipped with explosives, this 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 could actually end very, very badly, folks. Now, I don't know what situations that you're going to be using this in, but I don't like this at all. This could actually end very, very badly. Uh, Quote, robots equipped in this manner would only be used in extreme circumstances to save or prevent further loss of innocent lives. SFPD spokesperson. Allison Matsey said in a statement. Now, if you guys remember going back to uh, Terminator, I know it's fiction, but still. Skynet was actually used to help defend us. Then it became self-aware and saw humans as a threat. Who is actually going to be controlling this in San Francisco? Who's going to be making these calls? I don't like this. The plan received harsh pushback from civil liberty groups and others over claims it was it would uh, militarize the police force. Quote, we are living in a dystopian future where we debate whether the police may use robots to execute citizens without a trial, jury or judge. Uh, Tiffany Moyer, a senior staff attorney of the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights of San Francisco Bay Area, previously told Mission Local. 
Uh, quote, no legal professional or ordinary resident should carry on as if as if um, is normal. Sultan Meiji, a professor at Duke University, joined Fox News uh, Jesse Waters primetime Monday and also slammed the proposal. Quote, it's an awful idea. He told uh, host Jesse Waters, these guys are taking policy decisions from the Terminator franchise. So this person agrees with me right here. San Francisco Mayor London Breed's office has issued a statement in support of the policy, saying it, quote, strikes a good balance between protecting lives and establishing guardrails to prevent misuse. The mayor supports policies that allow police officers to quickly and safely respond to situations that involve a risk of violence to the public. And these issues such these are uh, and this issue, this includes tools such as live video or robotics technology. These tools should be available to peace officers to employ to save lives. The mayor's office told Fox News Digital on mo Monday morning. If the police are called to serve in a situation where someone intends to do harm or is already doing harm to innocent people and there is technology that can help to end the violence and save lives, we need to allow peace officers to use these tools to save lives. The statement concluded. Continued. Well, how about this? How about you not defund your police back in 2020? How about you not actually enable criminals to run the streets without consequences? How about you actually prosecute crime? That is actually how you can actually get this whole thing in control. But no, you didn't want to do that. Now, it says here the Oakland Police Department considered equipping robots to shoot projectiles earlier this year, but later dropped the plan. Wow. So if you're in San Francisco, man, you're going to be living in some type of a real world Terminator situation right here. I never thought that this would actually be reality, not in my lifetime anyway. But boy, I'm, I'm shocked by this. This could be pretty bad, folks. Do you guys actually support this? I definitely don't. This is just pure, pure insanity. And London Breed. Remember, defunded police actually happened under her, her watch. And it happened anyway, and crime is just completely out of control. You people in San Francisco, man, you guys got to get these uh, these Democrats out of there. You guys need to change your voting habits. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.